That's where Super Frogs is really going to excel. Sturge going to decide to not make this a true mirror. He goes on his Shaman. Let's see what the Super Frogs and the move can do going head to head <laughs> with these Warlock Rogues. I just in the current state of the meta with the Demon Hunter Death Knight compositions and the Wizard Cleave Frost Mage compositions, I was not not expecting to see this. A Rogue Warlock showdown between the move and the Super Frogs, and I'm more than excited to see how it plays out. Absturge going on Shaman tells me that he doesn't feel confident head-to-head -head Druid versus Druid against Cubsy, but of course on Shaman, that isn't the same case. So right now it's coming down to experience between Chanimal and WizK. Potentially Absturge's experience in the Shaman can carry the team despite we would potentially argue the weaker healer in regards to just throughput compared to the Druid. And Peekaboo actually putting some pressure on the Snut, but that leaves Chanimal alone. You get some free casted damage off, and you do not want to leave Chanimal alone for too long. Peekaboo realizing the situation does manage to get back on top of him, interrupt him with the kidney shot. Now, if we look at mana, Absurge does have a slight lead, and one of the great things about the rest of Shaman in this particular matchup is you have an extra interrupt with the wind shear as well as the grounding totem, which can help deny some of the damage Chanimals bring to the table. Chaos Bolt's flying in as both Warlocks are left open, and Peekaboo and Snuts go head-to-head -head in midfield. Snuts now realizing maybe that's not the best idea, going to be switching to Wizke, and then Peekaboo as well jumping over to Chanimal. Very important to get control of the Destruction Warlocks. You can't let too many Chaos Bolts sneak out or they may just be able to claim a kill. Infernals have landed now for Whiskey. His damage is going to be ramping up. Gets denied by Snuts. This is where that top level awareness comes in. Snuts not only understands what he needs to do and get done from his perspective, but he knows what every single in the player, player in the game is looking to get done and from their perspective and will communicate exactly what needs to be done to either win or stop the game from ending. And that's why we credit him as one of the best World of Warcraft Arena players of all time. Definitely, and we'll have to see what exactly the Super Frogs can get done in this matchup. And like we kind of talked about, Absurge versus Cubsy wasn't exactly an even fight. Both of them on the Restoration Druid, but Absurge on that Restoration Shaman, just a complete master at that class. And I think in this matchup, they could definitely pull ahead depending on how exactly it plays out. It's likely that both of these rogues will just be sitting on the Warlocks trying to generate as much pressure as possible. It's gonna come down to little things, like the Warlocks putting out good pressure, faking counter spells at the right time, looking for good crowd control and burst damage to actually finally take someone down. Chanimal locked down, WizK looking to fake cast, gets Kitty Shot, goes for another Chaos Bolt, Nether Ward by Chanimal. Good denial, and he also gets the damage added back onto WizK. More Chaos Bolt, so flying in. Chanimal deflects with the Mortal Coils, healing himself back up through the damage, and then also setting his team up to build more momentum. Surprisingly, mana in favor of the move. Potentially, that Shaman pick is going to be favored. I mean, this is not a matchup we see at all to really guarantee which is the better healer. Abster so far is doing phenomenally. Yeah, Abster's actually sat down for a drink. Re recovered a lot of his mana there, and this is not great for the Super Frogs. If they can't take down WizK before uh, Cubsy's out completely out of mana, the move will obviously have a huge mana lead, and that is not great for the Super Frogs. Vendetta has been pulled out by Peekaboo, looking to get some pressure rolling onto Chanimal, I believe, but seems like Chanimal's going to be quite fine. Cubsy potentially looking for a drink, but unable to find it, forced to come back, heal up Chanimal. And I have to say, although Absurge does have a mana lead in this situation, Super Frogs with the Restoration Druid, they have a clear advantage with how much healing a Restoration Druid can do over Resto Shaman. All right, Wizk and Peekaboo both under fire, so Absurge activates Ascendance, an area of effect healing ability, then the Healing Tide. A bit of an overlap, but should allow Absurge to recover through this incoming damage. Cubsy on the outskirts of the map looks like he's trying to sneak away and drink. Who's going to stop Cubsy? Absturge notices it now, but it might have been noticed too late. He needs to drop an Earthbind Totem to stop Cubsy. He gets a Capacitator Totem, but I think that was far too long. How much mana did you get, Cubsy? Oh, not At bad. least even, a lot less than I was expecting. Good Tranquility on the Smoke Bomb. That heals through that line of sight denial. Immediate reaction by Cubsy. I like this Earth Elemental from Absturge. We saw Sidu doing this as well. You activate that Earth Elemental on the enemy healer when it's a Druid, like Cubsy. That giant rock monster smacking Cubsy. What it does is not very much other than annoy Cubsy and keep him in combat. And if you're in combat, you can't drink. That Earth Elemental lasts for a long time, so you can just stop a Druid from being able to drink by activating that. Yeah, I think it's a really high-level play from Absurge, and going to be difficult for Cubsy to really deal with, but good pressure here rolling for Super Frogs, and damage greatly in favor of the Super Frogs in this matchup. Absurge struggling to hold on. Infernals do get dropped out by WizK, looking for some pressure. 
What is he going to do? Multiple Maledict. Done. WizK getting really low. You can see Cubsy just throwing in Solar Ass. Too much damage on the WizK right now. Astro just going to have to recover. I don't know if he's going to be able to do it. Will he be able to stay alive? Dampening is set in. Mana is exactly equal. It's anyone's match at this point, but we would say momentum potentially building for the Super Frogs. Maybe not. Channel's under fire. Uh -oh. Tons well. of damage. Unending resolve at very low health. Suddenly the move put themselves back in the fight. Channel, that was a really close call. Snuts was able to land the Shadow Step kick onto his K, interrupting that Chaos Bolt that would have inevitably taken down Channel. So. Very nicely done. Now a kidney shot over onto WizK. What is he gonna do? Taking a lot of damage here. Forced to use the unending resolve. Is he gonna be able to use that aggressively though? That's the thing. Channel will just spam fearing him. That's gonna deny a lot of the chaos bolts WizK could potentially have with that unending resolve. So good shutdown, good denial by Channel. Limiting the damage the move really have in this match. If we look at mana, things are even for both teams, but if you look at health bars, Super Frogs, they're completely topped off, whereas the move, they're falling behind. Pikachu doesn't have evasion, he could get swapped too. This case still low, going for a double mortal coil, but it wasn't a defensive one, it was more of an aggressive one. So WizK gains no defensive benefit. A Chanimal as well, going for an aggressive double mortal coil on both Absturge and Peekaboo, trying to generate some pressure here. Any Chaos Bolt, even a dampening, could net a kill. Cubsy's trying to sneak away. Absturge gets denied on his drink from a Reign of Fire, whereas Cubsy's drink was stopped there by Absturge. I believe a Reign of Fire as well from Wizcave. Both teams doing a good job at drink denial. It's going to come down to the wire. I'm almost starting to anticipate a cross kill. We may end up seeing a Healer Rogue versus Healer Rogue if things continue the way that they are. A possibility for sure. 10% dampening. What's Cubsy gonna do? He's looking like he wants to sneak away for a drink, but Absurge denies it once again. Absurge has been doing a great job with these totems, with the capacitor stun, making sure Cubsy is never able to get drinks. And sometimes we see the Shaman and Mistweaver monks really pull ahead in terms of mana management against the Restoration Druid. Right now, Cubsy, with his Innervate, throws out a lot of healing onto Chanimal to keep him nice and healthy. But after that, Cubsy's almost completely tapped out. That's really going to be the move's opportunity to push forward and close out this game. All right, let's see if they can do it. The move, Absurd's coming in on that Shaman. Definitely not the meta healer right now, but maybe exactly what they needed to combat the mirror matchup against the Super Frogs. Absurd's with significantly more mana now, but Infernals are available for Chanimal. That could be the X Factor to get a kill. When is Chanimal going to pull the trigger on that cooldown? He soaks up a spell lock before activating them. That's an opening for Chanimal. Now he needs to bait some interrupts. Peekaboo drops the smoke bomb. Peekaboo's trying to go for a kill. Chanimal's trying to deny him. After Tremor Totem Speakaboo to stay aggressive. In Infernal, oh, he triggered it anyway. That's a little bit unfortunate. I don't think Absurd needed to trinket that. Maybe he did. Chanimal under fire, Whiskey under fire. And this is where the cross kill potential comes in. But Whiskey is just taking so much damage. Spiraling Totem barely saves the day from Absturge, but Whiskey is still very low on health. Both teams are totally tapped. Smoke Bomb gets dropped by Snuts. As Chaos Ball! Close this out. Chaos Ball connects. And Super Frogs advance in the series on the blind pick. Very important win for the Super Frogs. Wiz K, I think over the years to come, has the potential to be one of those players because the multi-classing that he has shown us in every meta is fantastic while he's still the best Shadow Priest in the world. If that's not what it takes to be one of the best players, I don't know no, what he is. definitely is. But now it's time to put Jelly Beans on the chopping block. Let's see if he can multi-class with DH. We'll talk about this more after this game because the Super Frogs are trying to get themselves on match point. All right, so the move are hoping to employ a Method Orange strategy, I would imagine, in Mana Rift comes out of the fight, but their experience in this composition is much lower than that of Method Orange and Super Frogs is coming close to beating Method Orange as well in this matchup in particular so I'm curious to see if it actually works out for them but this is more important for the move in the whole grand scheme of things for the entire year Jelly Beans picking up Demon Hunter throughout the year to potentially win the World Finals probably a really good idea WizK still getting his Death Knight up on the level of other Death Knights as well probably a really good idea so even if the move don't find victory here uh -oh. they set themselves up well later in the year year they could easily just fall here it's not looking too good overall jelly beans is really struggling yeah jelly beans not out of it yet he gets interrupted what is absurd gonna do he doesn't have a trinket he might have to trade up the spirit link looking for healing waves jelly beans almost getting topped off good pressure here from the super frogs but you can see jelly beans no trinket no blur no nether walk the absurd with no trinket all that needs to happen is one kidney shot onto jelly beans smoke bomb gets dropped out absurd has to drop the spirit link gets it out it's overlapped with the anti-magic zone the move is just getting dominated so far.
Yep, falling behind on basically every front here in game number two. They tried to get a counter comp against the Super Frogs, and the Super Frogs are just outclassing them to an insane degree here. I don't think it's going to work. I would much rather see the move go back to the Rogue Warlock Druid. They almost took down the boys. That's a feat in the strength of itself with the composition that they brought into the tournament. I think Amir is their best shot at victory. In the long term, I think it would be wise for them to have Jelly Beans prepare Demon Hunter, Wizkay prepare prepared Death Knight, but right now it doesn't look like it's prepared enough. Uh, it definitely doesn't. I mean, Jelly Beans hasn't really been able to find any mana rifts on Cubsy. That plays into the main win condition the move really has available. And also the main strength of this map is the fact that you can land those mana rifts on Cubsy and you can shut down some of his drinks. And if you're not going to do that, you're not going to be able to secure that massive lead that you really need. Mana still in favor of Cubsy. Absurd should be able to hold on to his mana for quite some time, though, so I don't really see that playing into the favor of the Super Frogs, unless Cubsy can get a massive drink. Jelly Bean's still under fire, caught into a kitty shot, but was out of line of sight, so Channimals really couldn't back him up. All right, let's see if the move can manage to scrounge this fight back together. At least mana is still even at this point between these two teams. Another question then comes in is that if the move even win here, they lost the blind pick. They won't have the swing match. Can they blind lock Demon Hunter Death Knight into the Super Frogs? Mage Lock Druid? I don't think yeah. so. Yeah, <laughs> I don't yeah, think I mean, they can. I saw Method Orange struggle in that matchup, and I would go as far as to say that Method Orange is probably better than the move at this particular composition. I think I'd be pretty confident with that assessment. So I think it would be difficult for the move, but I think if they can get it done here on Dalaran Sewers with this composition, it would impress me because honestly, when they locked this in uh, in the draft, I didn't think they really had a chance, but things aren't going too bad for them. Cubsy's almost completely tapped on mana. If they can get Cubsy out of mana, if they can hold on, keep up this pressure on Channel, well, the move might be able to take it. I mean, they've secured the mana advantage. That's exactly what they need to do with this composition. Even though they made some pretty big mistakes defensively, they survived long enough that, that now it doesn't really matter. More defense is now available and rotating back up readily. Jelly Beans just needs to be careful during this moment while Absurge is crowd controlled. He has options. Uh -oh. It would be a mistake for him to go down. Nether walk right before getting stunned. It's nuts almost capitalizing on that for a kill. Still potentially a lot of momentum. Jelly Beans is struggling. If they can keep Cubsy from drinking, Absurge sees him. He's trying to move in. How much mana did Cubsy get? We're going to find out as another mana rift connects. Whiskey gets bursted down suddenly. After Ch and Jelly Beans were too focused on Cubsy, left Whiskey behind, but now he's managed to recover. The move are actually in a good position to take this. They might be able to do it. Cubsy with no mana. What is he going to do? If we see Jelly Beans stay on target, keep up the mana rifts, and Cubsy can't drink, things are going to be looking great for the move on this map. Kitty shot now onto Jelly Beans. He needs to stay alive a little bit longer, but there's no Infernals, there's no Dark Soul. There's no Vendetta. The move defensively is looking really good. Super Frogs, I don't know if they have the damage to really force the move back. After it's caught into a mortal coil now. Jelly Beans taking a little bit of pressure. Snuff's really ripping in with that fan of knives. All right, after to stabilize, but they still need to deny Cubsy from drinking. The move strategically, I think, have set themselves up well. It's just a matter of being able to perform. Cubsy constantly sneaking away. Jelly Beans is forced to either just stay over there and stop him from drinking and not able to attack. Capacitator Totem snipes Cubsy. How much mana did he ultimately get when he comes out of cat form? We'll find out. Not too much, but enough that he's at least tied. Channel under fire here. Huge damage. Jelly Beans gets kidney shot to deny the kill. Earthen Wall Totem protects the team of the move for now. Channel's really just feeling the pain on any resolve, the last line of defense, but you don't really want to exchange that this early into dampening. Jelly Beans being thwarted. The move have managed to recover, stabilize, and scrounge this match into some semblance of potential victory. Cubsy's just making it annoying. Jelly Beans needs to figure out, maybe he doesn't have much experience in this regard when Cubsy's constantly sneaking away. Uh, does Jelly Beans just keep attacking Cubsy, or does he go back onto Channimal? That's really what he needs to decide. And I'm starting to think that potentially he does just chase Cubsy. Yeah, I think it wouldn't be that bad of an idea at this point, but WizK is going to have to generate a lot of pressure for his team. Now that Cubsy's completely tapped on mana, I really feel like it should be Absturge. Chase after Cubsy, allow Jelly Bean some uptime on Channel to actually take him down. And Channel getting low, Cubsy with nothing left to work with. This is so good for the move. 6% dampening. Cubsy looking to sneak away one more time, but he's left Channel all alone. Trades out on any resolve, trying to buy Cubsy a little bit of time. It's nuts. You, with the vanish lens, a cheap shot onto Jelly Beans. Cubsy sitting down for a drink. Did he get anything? Channel's just so low. 
He's trying to gateway away, but the LOS is Cubsy. Cubsy trying to get in position of line of sight to actually land some heals after he's gotten to a fear. Chanimal, both Jelly Beans and Whiskey all over him at this point of the game, but he still manages to stay alive. Chanimal holding on by a threat. Whiskey now a liability as Superfrogs look to move to match point. Abster has an answer. He gets there just in time with that Spirit Link totem, but even still, Whiskey under fire. Suddenly the Superfrogs are overwhelming the move. Both teams are totally tapped on mana, and it's anyone's match. Definitely, WizK with the anti-magic shell should be able to keep himself alive for a little bit longer. Still a lot of pressure on the channel, and Cubsy, still no mana, throws out the final regrowth. 12% dampening, still good pressure. Channel looking for a Chaos Bolt. Jelly Beans has to be very scared right now. Blur has just traded out, and he's got no Trinket. Absurd with no Spirit Link and no mana left to work with either. Either one of these teams could easily fall. All right, Cubsy, he's on the ropes. What's he going to do? He bashes up the Absturge. They have to kill Whiskey in this little window of time. They get the fear. They get the follow-up. They've oh, got the damage. Whiskey! They've got the burst, and they're going to get the kill. Super Frogs manage against all odds to take down the moves counter comp and move to match point. Oh my goodness, what a game as well. Kudos to the Super Frogs able to take it and put themselves on match point. And the move gonna try to play this one out, but the Super Frogs completely stabilized, even though Cubsy is running on an empty tank. No more sap left in that tree, chopping it down. Not going to be possible though, as we see Jelly. The race car's not a winning class in WoW. So uh, that, well, it hasn't always been that way though. I, I do agree with that as well. I do agree with that as well. But now it's up to the Super Frogs and the move. They're going to Ruins of Lordaeron. I don't think I've seen a more passionate conversation <laughs> in some time on this. You event. and I are just being just quiet. Chill. <laughs> Everybody chill out here for a second. Then Ruki could be on the list too. Uh, I don't know about that. But there's definitely a few players, and I think it's a really hard question to answer for sure. Um, but anyways, let's focus on this game. Super Frogs currently up 2-0 to zero over the move. This is such an important matchup for the move. They do not want to be eliminated. They are still not in a secure position to make it to the spring finals. Keep that in mind. They need to win this series. They need to make it to the grand finals. If they want to have a good shot of making it into that top four, if Super Frogs can close this out, the move's hopes of making it to the spring finals are dwindling away. I mean, it all rests on the sixth and final cup, which would be fitting for the move here, as it is Ruins of Lordaeron. Of course. It is the cemetery. <laughs> of course. Of course it's a cemetery. How many people have been buried in the cemetery? That's what I want to know. After all these years of World of Warcraft, a lot. I, I don't even want to try and count. <laughs> Jelly Beans, Whiskey under fire. As crowd control is engaged, Superfrox might be able to just close it out. Tons of damage. Jelly Beans barely stays alive. The Spirit Link Totem only hits two members. All of the defense basically traded up for the move to survive once again, but we've seen this moment even in the past game and not necessarily result in a kill, but maybe it will this time around. Fear secured now onto Absturge. Jelly Beans is still low. Spell lock not available. Kick is for Snuts. Maybe a shadow step kick could end the game if Snuts is in position for that. Absurd is starting to stabilize. Cubsy's good presence of mind sitting down for a drink. Not only does he, even if he doesn't get mana, Jelly Beans has to overextend. And then when he overextends, Snuts goes for a smoke bomb. So as long as Cubsy is constantly looking for drinks, even if he doesn't get them, it sets his team up to get a kill. Yeah, it's really important to distract the move and force him out of position. It also buys Channels a little bit of time where he's not being targeted down. Jelly Bean's still low. He doesn't have a trinket. If he gets caught into a kidney shot, it could be danger time for the move. Double Mortal Coil sets up. Nice death grip there by WizK, bringing Channel out of position and stopping the fear, but a Chaos Bolt is going to land on a Jelly Bean. Bash on the Ab Surge. Cubs, he doesn't have any follow-up crowd control, so I believe at this point, Ab Surge will be able to stabilize Jelly Bean to keep him alive, and now it's not nearly as scary for the move, but Jelly Beans does have that Gladiator's Medallion, that PvP trinket in order to break crowd control in that next kidney shot she will be able to live. Yep, no vendetta for another 30 seconds or so. Cubsy still just on the outskirts of the map. Gets sniped by a Death and Decay from WizK. Mana is at least even at this point. The move are trying to counter Comp the Super Frogs, but obviously experience may trump that factor in this particular matchup as the Super Frogs are able to find victory, but it was really close. Definitely by no means a guaranteed victory on their part. The move can stay alive in this series. Cubsy's mana is still starting to dwindle. I'm curious to see how Jelly Beans decides to play out the situation because we saw this same one. Cubsy was low on mana. Jelly Beans wants to keep mana rifting him, but he also wants to keep attacking Channel. He has to make a choice. He can't do both because Cubsy and Channel are too far away from each other. So I'm curious to see what Jelly Beans decides to do with that. Although right oh. now he's getting bursted down quite hard, creating out the blur. Managed to stay, stay alive. Now Channel getting counter-aggressed. 
That was the anti-magic zone as well. And Chanimal, he still has the Dark Soul. Vendetta's rolling. What is the move going to do? Jellybean now into the Mortal Coil. Snuts can connect the Kidney Shot. One Maledict flies in onto Jellybeans. He gets interrupted as well. Snuts, what is he going to do? Where is he going to put his stun? Another walk gets used by Jellybeans. Full Fear onto Absurge. Here's the Could Kidney Shot. What is Jellybeans going to do? He has to get out of the stun and drop a Darkness. The move, they need to stay alive. Absurge doing everything he can. No Squirreling Totem available for another 24 seconds. Too much damage coming in. Channel gets interrupted on the game winning Chaos Bolt. Nicely done by WizK to back up Jellybean. Jellybeans is not running cover of Darkness, so his Darkness is not a guaranteed survival for himself. He could get lucky and have it, but it's very low odds without the cover of Darkness Honor Talent to increase its likelihood. Cubsy getting put in in prison. More mana burns incoming here from the move. Cubsy's almost tapped. Potentially the move stay in the series, but even if they stay in the series, the Super Frogs have a trump card. They've got that Frost Mage and Destruction Warlock. So if you're the move, you have to blind lock Rogue Warlock, and you've got to blind, basically win a mirror match for the rest of the series, which they seem very uh, hesitant to do so because they haven't been locking it in in these cases. Jelly Beans getting bursted down. Absurd's not in crowd control. Should be able to heal him up, but he has to deny Cubsy from drinking. Cubsy being such an annoyance on Runes of Order on this map pick. Kind of backfiring, to be honest, because it's such a long distance between the starting rooms. I believe Cubsy did manage to get some mana back there, now ahead of Absturge and setting his team up well for victory. That was kind of a cute moment. You had Cubsy in cat form, Absurge in Ghost Wolf, and the cat and a dog attacking each other. Interesting. <laughs> I'm laughing at my own jokes. Huh? This is bad. Yeah, I know that feeling. <laughs> All right, all we'll blind on Absurge as he trinkets out. That's a fair trade. That's going to be trading out that blind. Absurge trades out the trinket. What are they going to be able to do? Jellybeans into a kidney shot. He still has trinket. A lot of defensive cooldowns available for the move. If we look at mana, Cubsy has been managing to hold on. There's a mortal coil onto Jellybeans. Anti magic zone gets dropped out once again, trying to deny some of that infernal damage as Jellybeans marches forward out of the protection of that anti magic zone. They haven't really been able to find too much damage on Chanimal, and I really think it's unlikely they take Chanimal down until Cubsy is completely tapped on mana. So that has to be the main focus of the move. Which, I mean, it's it's happening. Cubsy's almost out of mana. Potentially the move stay alive in the tournament. Jellybeans get stunlocked. They need to survive one more crowd control chain. It's seconds away from happening. Jellybeans get stunned. A couple extra seconds added onto the clock, but not enough damage to take Jellybeans down. Cubsy once again jumping to the outskirts of the map, looking to sit down for a drink and regenerate mana. Can the move get in position to stop Cubsy? Jellybeans gets denied by Chanimal. They stop the drink. Chanimal is still low on health. They have defensive options, but with such limited resource in terms of mana, I'm not sure the Super Frogs can keep this up. Yeah, I'm not sure. It didn't look good for them on Dalaran sewers as well. Cubsy did manage to hold on. Chanimal still with the unending resolve is going to have a moment where he becomes very, very tanky and durable. It's going to be difficult for the move to actually push through that for now, but this is the moment I'm talking about. Cubsy with no mana left. The move has done a great job shutting down his ability to go for drinks, and you can see the Earth Elemental chasing Cubsy down as well. So that's one of Absurge's totems he could drop down. Now that Earth Elemental is going to be chasing Cubsy, not allowing him to drop combat, not allowing him to sit down for drinks, and not allowing him to regenerate mana in this matchup. Imprisonment onto Cubsy. Once again, a mana rift landing by Jellybeans. And I gotta say, Jellybeans has been doing a good job on this Demon Hunter. Cubsy's had to go against some of the best Demon Hunters in the game, including Trill. And Jellybeans seems to be doing almost as good of a job, really staying on top of Cubsy, denying his drinks, making sure he's getting mana ripped consistently. Stutz with a full blind onto Jellybeans, kidney shot on the Absurd. You can see Stutz is just controlling everybody, allowing Cubsy a moment to breathe and actually get some mana. In this game, we're not only going to decide what, who is better, the Super Frogs are the move, we will decide what pet is better, a cat or a dog. Right now, it's looking like cats. Cubsy two up in this series, only one win left to advance to face the boys in the finals but it's desperate it's dire completely tapped on mana everything down to the wire whiskey trades out big cooldowns to stay aggressive that's now an opening for the super frogs to exploit yeah definitely and whiskey with no trinket and no icebound fortitude might be an opening for the super frogs you can see snuts he's got vendetta dark soul is rolling channel he has to get out some chaos bolts here Who's he going to be able to cast on Cubsy in the meantime? Very low. Whiskey marching oh. forward with Jellybeans and Absurge. No. 
and the move able to put a point on the board. Not out of this series just yet. Is this the composition that we want to see? That, that, that's really exactly. And really, if you do want to be the best player in the world of all time, when you're in this meta right now, that's one of the things that you have to do. And not taking that into account, just wouldn't make sense to any argument as to who the best player in the entire world is. Now the question is whether or not oh the move <laughs> is going to be sent wow. home. This is the best performance that they've had all year long. The Super Frogs looking to stop them in their tracks and get yet another grand final entry. Will they find it here on Tiger's Peak? Yeah. Rich, here's a list of names. Okay? <laughs> oh my God. Let, let me read it. Wait, wait. I'm going to make some levels There's of analysis to determine. This. All right, Abster sitting through a blind sap combo. This could be an opportunity for the Super Frogs to net a kill early on, actually. Infernals have landed. Whiskey has to exchange his most powerful defensive cooldown, his most precious unending resolve within seconds of the match starting. All ready to move fall behind. Yeah, definitely falling behind. Abster's going to have to play catch up. Drops off the Earthen Shield totem, getting out a little bit of damage reduction there for Whiskey. As Channel and Sats have been able to put out really good pressure so far. If we look at mana, Cubsy a little bit behind. What is he going to be able to do? You can see Cubsy position really far away. And Peekaboo has to be careful. He's sort of prepping up Snuts by putting a rupture and different poisons on him to sort of allow Wizkay to get some pressure rolling there. But you cannot be off Channel for too long. You need to be committing as many interrupts including the kidney shot and the kick to just slow down Channel. If you're off him for too long, if you're focusing on Snuts, then I think Channel is really going to be able to punish the move. Channel and Wiz K in spitting distance of each other right now. You don't normally see Warlocks this close to the combat, but when you're up a point, non-match point, you definitely can play with confidence. The Super Frogs still lead and look to assert dominance in the North American re region for a rematch here against the boys in the grand finals. Obviously the move, they've thrown some curveballs. They've shown some willingness to diversify. Now it comes down to experience. Can they overthrow the Super Frogs who have been playing this composition now throughout basically the entire first season? I would say they're playing at a disadvantage with Absurd and the Shaman, and then obviously comparing Wizkay's Warlock to Chanimal, but perhaps Peekaboo can be the X factor for the move to find victory but they need to do it not only once, but twice if they want to rematch against the boys. Yeah, but this isn't looking too bad for them. Cubsy's mana is not doing great. The move has been able to completely stabilize in the matchup. Channel's been playing scared in this matchup. He's been the one that's had to run away. Whiskey just con continually running on top of him. Now an interrupt from Snuts on Whiskey with a kidney shot. Cubsy sneaks away. If he can get this drink, if he can reset his mana, things are going to be looking really good. Who from the move can shut it down? Abster chases over. And the ghost will form once again, but he can't find him. And Cubsy's regenerating so much mana. Absurge abandons the chase, and then Cubsy's gotten full mana. Disaster for the move. Much like a dog who can't find his bone, Absturge is sad after that exchange. Cubsy now with a significant lead here on match point facing the move. Peekaboo's trying to be the X Factor with that vendetta rolling to take down Channel. Crowd controlling both Cubsy and Channel in this position, but not finding any opportunity. Now Channel looking to reverse the pressure with a double mortal quill. Wizkay put on the back foot. Any crowd control on Abster, just spell lock available. The channel can nail that. Actually opts to use it onto Wiz K, denying some pressure from him, but that then opens up Abster to free cast some incoming heals. Blind attempt from Snuts. Abster's gonna respect that crowd control. It is the longest lasting available on both rosters, so it is expected that the healers will exchange Gladiator's Medallion. If they can get away without using the Gladiator's Medallion, potentially they can use it later aggressively. The only real advantage I give to the Shaman, and this is a bit of a stretch, is the spam purge to remove heal over time effects later into dampening. But Absturge has to maintain his mana effectively at full to be able to utilize that. Perhaps that could be the factor that the move need to find victory, but it's going to be so difficult. And Channel drops out the Infernal. Actually, it was Wiz K who dropped out his Infernals, looking to get aggressive here onto Channel and Snut. What are they going to be able to do? Right now, Cubsy he's, has been able to sneak away and get consistent drinks in this matchup, and because of that, they do have a mana lead, and that's one of the main win conditions for the move. Kidney shot now secured onto Channel. It looks like Cubsy should be able to heal through it. I, I really feel like the Destruction Warlocks are difficult to take down in this matchup until dampening, so it really will be the main focus, just putting out as much pressure as you can, tax the enemy healer's mana, and then stop him from drinking. That is your main objective at this point in the game. All right, man is still equal at this point as we get closer to dampening. That initial burst on WizK is basically non-consequential now. Unending resolve available again. No infernals on either side. Vendetta available for Peekaboo. The power play is in favor of the move with that cooldown available. Let's see what Peekaboo can do to set up the team. 
perhaps a shadow step kidney shot into a fear something along those lines on Cubsy. he's just going to go for pressure activating that vendetta right away to try and counter pressure because whiskey's on the back foot with no cooldowns activated whiskey trades on ending resolve absurd is the one who gets crowd controlled this is devastating for the move they're on match points they can't continue the chain they have to desperately blind snuts to stay in the fight now not available for Cubsy. and amidst all that pressure i do believe that the super frogs regained a significant mana advantage things are falling apart for the move yeah whisk trades out his trinket looking for a chaos bolt but there's no good target cubs he didn't sit down for a what? drink how i don't know how he was out of combat for so long but Absurge does still have the mana lead, and if Whiskey can hold on, the move might be able to stay in this, but Whiskey with no defensive cooldowns, incre increasingly vulnerable. Absurge with no trinket. If Cubsy can push in and get any crowd control. In the meantime, though, Channimal getting pressure down. Chaos Bolt connects from Whiskey. Channimal does manage to survive, trading out his unending resolve, now looking to reverse the pressure. All right, cooldowns evening out. Mana in favor of the move. I thought that that was a guaranteed win with Cubsy going off in the corner, but he didn't get any mana back. It's not guaranteed for the Super Frogs anymore. They've cracked most of the defense from Channimal. Infernal's coming up in 50 seconds. Whiskey will have his set first. He will have the opportunity to find victory before Channimal. Can the Super Frogs hold out for that big push is now the question. Cubsy with no Glyer's medallion for blind moving forward either. That could be a huge window. Peekaboo could put this game in his back pocket, potentially take it to game five. It's looking better and better for the move. The move, they have to stay in this. There is so much on the line, including potentially making it to the spring finals. They need to battle their way into the grand finals and get a rematch against the boys. What is the move going to be able to do? Absurge's mana is still looking decent. Looks like Earthen Shield, Earthen Shield Totem will be dropped out there by Absurge. That's going to allow Whiskey to tank a little bit of this damage as it will increase his durability. Interrupt on Channimal. This is the point in the game where every little detail matters. What is the rogue interrupting? What is he going to be using his kidney shot on? What is the warlock going to be able to do? Whiskey finds a Chaos Bolt on the Channimal and Cubsy with no mana left. It's going to be hard to recover Channimal's HP. All right. What are you going to do, Cubsy? You're totally tapped. Infernals are available. Whiskey could close this. He's Infernals have landed. Are the move going to be able to do it in the mirror? Despite having the Shaman versus the Druid, pressure is mounting. Two members are low. Cubsy still totally tapped. If Wiz K gets even one Chaos Bolt, it could just end the game. Snuts is trying to deny it as long as he can, but I don't think he's going to have enough options. Chaos Bolt being casted. Gets Mortal Coil. Chaos Bolt gets casted. Gets Infernal Stunned. Chaos Peek Bolt being casted. Nothing connects. Spearling Totem from Absurd. Saves Channel. the game, and Channel's going to fall. At the same time, Peekaboo's on pressure. Peekaboo denies the kill. The move! They've no got it! Way. We're going to game five! Against all odds, the move have at least made it to take. Never lucky. They overtake the Mew Mew Kitty Cats, and this is a team that only made it to broadcast a few times this year. Will Tolveron be the place that they find victory? The move's qualifications on the line here in game number five, but they've taken the best teams in North America all the way to game five. The boys earlier today, the Super Frogs now, but they've still got one more chance to take it all the way. If they can do so, they will have that fourth place position. Likely they'll still have to defend it in the sixth cup, but at least with confidence they've got it now. Can they do it? Can they overcome the Super Frogs? Absturge still going with comfort over that Drew pick going with the shaman they managed to find victory but on tolveron it will be much more difficult to babysit cubsy and deny his drinks super frogs have set themselves up well strategically yep whiz kick caught into the kitty shot he is going to be trinketing out of that and we saw the last matchup come down to mana so once again absurd has to do a good job hunting down cubsy not allowing him to get into the cat form get into prowl and start sipping on that water which will regenerate his mana whiz kick getting low absurd drops out um, his Earthen Shield totem, but unfortunately for Whiskey, he has to trade out the Unending Resolve as well. A beautiful setup here from Snots. All three members crowd controlled. Super Frogs looking to close out this game as Whiskey gets lower. There's really not too much left to work with. Absurd forced to trade out the Spirit Link totem also. And the move all of a sudden, they don't have anything left. Everything is falling apart for the move here in game number five. The sky is basically falling. The pressure is mounting. Chanimal is tearing in. Two members still dangerously low on health. Snots secure a kick and interrupt onto Absurge's incoming heels, delaying it even further. Whiskey gets bursted. Cubsy jumps in to close it out very early on. The Super Frogs are ready to just advance. They get denied for a couple of seconds, but is that couple of seconds going to be enough? They, can't, they get another Cyclone. Whiskey barely holding on. Nether Ward at 10%. Is he actually going to... He Nether Warded the Cyclone. He denied a low health Cyclone and managed to stay alive, but 
the pressure is still on. Earthen Shield Totem dropped out by Absurge. Wizkate gates away as he gets interrupted twice in a row. Kidney shot now secured onto Chan. Amal Peekaboo looking for some counter pressure, but Super Frog so far has had all the momentum in their favor. And Cubsy now in stealth. He's going to be looking for a drink. If he can regenerate his mana, that's going to give Super Frogs a massive lead. All right, let's see if he can do it. It's all on Cubsy to constantly nice look for these mana resets, finding those drinks. Pressure is starting to slow down a bit and even out on both sides. I would say at this point it's still anyone's match. Slight advantage for the Super Frogs. Peekaboo is trying to make a power play with that Vendetta. Gets denied by Cubsy's Iron Bark. Janimal will stabilize. Absurd repositions. Absurd is in such a, such a tough spot. Does he stay on top of Cubsy the whole game and potentially get bashed Cyclone? If he doesn't, then Cubsy drinks. It's gonna be really difficult for Absturge to manage that. If he plays in the midfield, he's then susceptible to fear. All the positioning for Absturge is so difficult. Now he gets feared in midfield. Peekaboo gets stunned on his evasion. Could be devastating here. Cubsy even lobbing in a couple solar rats to try and add to the pressure. Chanimal gets stunned in reverse. Nuts is feared off. Peekaboo is likely to recover. Mana is still even. Earthen wall totem before any crowd control. Absturge trying to preempt an attack. Chanimal now low. Even though it was such a terrible start for the move, I, I'm not counting him out. You definitely can never count out the move. They've been doing such a great job in this series so far, and really all day with their backs up against the wall. WizK coming in clutch on this destruction. Warlock going head to head with Chanimal in this matchup. Cubsy moving in, gets the bash cyclone onto Absurge. Now, all of a sudden, WizK could be in a little bit of trouble, but it seems like he should be fine. He gets double interrupted. One Maledic flies in onto WizK, and Cubsy immediately following up his crowd control on Absurd with a drink, but that gets shut down. But Cubsy was able to regenerate some mana, and that's so precious at this point in the game. All right, let's see who it's going to go down to. Cubsy secured the late game advantage, but pressure starting to develop for the move. Snuts looks to reverse. It was stun on WizK. Spell lock available for Chanimal. He could interrupt Absurd on a heal and then net a kill off the back of it. So Absurd has to keep that in the back of his mind as well. He's trying to fake cast that spell lock. Likely Chanimal is saving that for the Warlock. I think Absurd fake casted it there. Managed to avoid it. Now with that spell lock out of the way, it'll be a lot easier as a Restoration Shaman to recover, at least for another 13 seconds or so. Cubsy once again sneaks away, and Absturge has to do the diligence of stopping that drink, avoiding situations like this where he gets stunned Cyclone. This is what will happen if he stays too close to Cubsy too long, and while he's Cyclone, WizK then falls behind. Smoke Bomb gets dropped by Snuts to try and power through for a kill. Nether Ward denies it for now. Absturge has Spirit Link Totem again and available, as well as the Unending Resolve, so that terrible start is basically reset for the move and they're given the best shot they're going to get to find victory against the Super Frogs. Can they pull it off? Yeah, it's definitely going to be dangerous for the move in this matchup as they all f are falling behind. But keep in mind, the move, this is game five. If they lose this, they are knocked out of this tournament, and it is not looking good for them to move on forward to the spring finals. They have to win this matchup. They're looking for the rematch in the grand finals versus the boys but they have a Titan team, Super Frogs, standing in their way. And so far, this matchup has been going in favor of the Super Frogs. Cubsy has a mana lead at this point of the game. Full blind secured onto Absurge. He trinkets out immediately, trying to keep WizK alive. Full kidney shot secured through evasion onto Peekaboo. Beautiful shadow step kidney shot by Snuts, really mitigating that defense from Pe Peekaboo, but Absurge backs him up with the Earthen Shield Totem. That's gonna allow WizK and Peekaboo to fight another day. All right, Cubsy gets another stun, Cyclone. Could be devastation here for the move. If Snuts can get up some damage out, he gets feared off. Good denial by Wizk, but the stun finally connects. Absurge has to reposition. No spell lock available. He should be able to heal up the team. He's reluctant to go for a cast. Maybe he's worried about Snuts' shadow step kicking him, but really waiting a long time to cast a healing wave. He's trying to fake cast it. He doesn't fake cast Snuts. Snuts moves in. Maybe he can close in this one second period of time. Any crowd control. After is actually trying to go aggressive with that Maledict, but he's still falling behind. He needs to cast some heals, but now he needs to deal with Channel's spell lock. He's mortal coiled away. WizK is low. Game five is slipping away. The Super Frogs want to close this out and have that match against the boys in the final, and they are so close. Peekaboo with the Vendetta might be able to pull out the unending resolve from Chanimal. Cubsy sitting down for a drink once again. The move falling behind at 10% dampening. Absurge still has his Spear Link Totem. If he can get it out, it's going to be very important to keep his team up. But there's just so much pressure rolling for the Super Frogs. Although the move, they're looking to reverse the pressure onto Chanimal. He's getting low, but Chanimal with the unending resolve should be able to survive Dark Soul Fades. 
pressure now potentially in favor of the move as the Wiz K is going to be dropping out his Infernals with the Dark Soul. He's looking to get something oh. done. Who are they going to get after? Both Warlocks are ramping up for huge damage. Any Chaos Bolt getting off uh -oh. here could be a kill. Both healers are basically tapped. Both teams uh -oh. are in trouble. What's going to happen in this chaotic game five finish? Cannibal dips low, potentially goes down. Wiz K fake cast the Shadow Step kick. Cannibal and Wiz K desperately racing to get the first Chaos Bolt. Wiz K gets his. But it doesn't do anything. Whiskey is the one who's falling behind. Peekaboo still as well. Peekaboo trying to control the whole team. They're still totally tough. Spearling totem available. I think Abster should just trade that out. He doesn't have any mana left to keep the fight going. Is he going to be able to get there in time? He gets blinded. He's not moving in for that Spearling totem. Gladiator's Maledict. Now he's speared and can't use it. Whiskey is so low. Everything on the line ah! here. Spearling totem, but Peekaboo's not inside of it. Peekaboo manages to move in, but it's killed off too fast. Immediate snipe by Snuts. They have to blind Channel. Just oh. to not die. They set up for a kill on Snuts with the smoke bomb. Cubsy jumps in for a big heal. Manages to stabilize Snuts to get counter aggression now onto Wiz K. Grounding totem available for Absturge. He can deny a Chaos Bolt. Potentially open up the window for Wiz K to counter attack. Vendetta's rolling for Snuts. His damage is max, but he's still low on health. He's going to go for it. Oh, Snuts with such a beautiful play. He actually vanished the mortal coil. And Peekaboo wasn't able to follow it up with a stun. Now Snuts getting pressure rolling onto Wiz K. Still a little bit of a vulnerable target here, and Cubsy actually sneaking away for a drink once again. Full kidney shot on Wiz K, kidney shot on Snuts. Which one of these players is gonna fall first at 21% dampening? The move holding on for dear life. They have a lot of pressure and momentum in their favor right now. Spearling totem not available for Absurge. That's such a safety net for the Restoration Shaman. Snuts having to kite oh away, no. it's just too much pressure. It's slipping away from the frogs. Oh, the move gonna be able to do it. They connect a huge Chaos Bolt, another Chaos Bolt. Wiz K's trying to close it out. Channel manages to hold on. Now he's trying to reverse it. Big Chaos Bolt out from Channel to connect. Wiz K getting devastated. Somehow stays alive with Absurge by his side, connecting the healing wave. No interrupt landed on that. They need to interrupt Absurge. They get him caught to Mortal Quill. Everything is down to the wire. Cubsy has managed to sneak away. Where's the drink denial? Did he get any mana back? It's a real question. He stuns up. He didn't get any mana back. It's still anyone's fight. Wiz has an unending resolve. I'd love to see him just pop it, go for a Chaos Bolt, and get the kill. He gets stunned on the Cataclysm. He trinkets out. He goes for another Chaos Bolt. Not finding it. Wiz is just falling so far behind. I'm almost wondering if he has to use unending resolve aggressively to get a kill at this point. Absurd is never going to top him off. He's got no mana left and 30% dampening. Yeah, this is a scary moment for both teams. Wizk is still low. Absurd really struggling to keep him alive. And Absurd is now completely tapped on mana. What a tense game five. Channel looking for a Chaos Bolt. Gets kidney shot. Good denial by Peekaboo in order to keep Wizk alive. He's been doing a great job in this matchup. But Cubsy just throwing in the uh... floor up. Wizk is still falling further and further behind. He still has the unending to resolve as well as the Nether Ward. What is he going to trade it out? I think he has to go for it. He has to go for the all in on the enemy resolve. I mean, by the time he uses it, he's just going to die through it. Dampening is so high. Cubs against crowd control for the team, but Whiskey's got through all the interrupts. He gets two Chaos Bolts in a row on the Channel, looking to overthrow the North American Warlock Lord. Can Whiskey manage to pull it off? Snuts gets sapped by Peekaboo, managing to set up some crowd control to potentially close it out. Infernals have landed for Whiskey. Infernals have landed for Channel. Everything is about to be decided within the next couple of seconds. Yeah, but it's Absurge who really has no defensive cooldowns, no mana left. Cubsy still sitting in the back line, just throwing in Solar Wrath. Wiz K in a kidney shot, unending resolve, traded out. One Maledic connects. Absurge is spelled. Spearlink in the sky. Oh, no, still alive. Four, Three, three two, one. one. A little bit longer. Snuts into a kidney shot. Wiz K gets interrupted. Absurge, he needs more mana to throw. Spearlink. He needs to drop it. He eventually does. And now Snuts is the one that could fall. Everybody is dying on the move, but Snuts is still so low. Cubsy connects the arm up. But Peekaboo can fall. Anybody but he can pull a full hex! He's stuck in a full hex on the Cubsy! But Peekaboo's just gonna go down! Snuts with perfect shot! Whiskey gonna go down! Snuts, he gets the Chaos Bolt! Is it gonna kill Snuts? It connects, he doesn't go down, and Whiskey will fall, battling it out to the absolute bitter end, but the super fr Feed versus the fake Zebras, we're all tied up. One and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered, in the middle of history, the longest series that has ever been played in Battle for Azeroth.